Chef Pennington here. Today in our Kitchen Basics series, we're going to be doing beef stock, something that has high reward for the effort. Beef stock in culinary school, we called it liquid gold because of all the flavor that came to the table through the long cooking process and using really high quality technique. And that's what we're going to do here today with making some really high quality beef stock. So the first thing is the bones. We want to have a mix of femur bones, which is the long cut, skinnier portions of the bone, has lots of marrow in it, and then the knuckle. It's a connective joint, so it has lots of connective tissue, which ultimately equals flavor. It might sound a little gross, but we're making beef stock, and we're using bones. So. <laughs> so cleaning the bones. This is the most important part of everything, and it's something that's sometimes overlooked. And if it's not done exactly the way it's done in this video, you're going to get a little bit of a muddy flavor in there, and it won't be... It just won't be as clean and elegant, which beef stock can be very elegant when making like a, you know, butter sauce with it for a steak. It's just great. So here's the thing. You're going to get it on and you're going to boil it, really bring it to a boil. And you're going to start noticing these impurities coming to the top. And that's how we're going to clean our bones is we're going to keep removing this. So we're going to do it three times this is going to be the key. You can see right there that doesn't look very pleasant. If we just started cooking with our bones, that's the flavor we'd be left behind with. So we're making... We're doing this the right way, folks. So three times, that's the key. And you're going to have some clean bones. Now notice, I didn't rinse the bones underneath water. That's because it's been inside of the stock cooking away. If we go ahead and shock the bones in under cold water, that's your call. You could do that, but you might wash away some of the goodies, like little bits of the marrow and stuff. You just boiled it, so everything's in perfect position. So here we go. We're going to go into the oven. We're going to roast it for 40, 50 for 30 minutes, and that's the key. You'll notice there's some of the marrows already starting to render into the, the tray right there. And that's why we're going to use some of the aluminum foil on your cookie sheet. It just helps for cleanup. Sometimes it can leave really tough stains on your, your cookie sheet to clean. So do do that. Plus, it brings a lot of extra heat from underneath and cooks the bones nicely. So we're using some tomato paste there. It's a very classic French technique. We're only going to paint them on the, the tomato paste on the top because we don't want to impart too much of that flavor. So we're going to make... A bouquet garni or a sachet. A bouquet garni is where your herbs are tied together with a string. A sachet is where we use some cheesecloth here and we're going to put it inside. It's just going to make sure that none of the thyme flowers come out and get into our stock. Once we're done, we want the stock to be nice and clean and clear. Peppercorns. Don't want to crush them because they can get really fine and then get into the stock. So we just leave them whole. So we've got some bay leaf, some thyme and some black peppercorn, and that's what's going into our sachet. Pull each corner together, and then we're gonna put a good twist on it, and then we're gonna use a cool knot. We're gonna use a chef's knot here. If you guys haven't seen this one before, this is a knot you can use the rest of your life. So we're gonna just go around like we're usually tying a knot, but here's the thing. We're gonna loop underneath three times. See there, loop one, two, and then our last one, and then we're gonna pull it together and there's no need for the additional knot. Everything stays together. Pretty cool. It's a chef's knot. So we've got our sachet done. Now let's make some stock. So clean out your pot really well. Real important. Get any of those impurities that we just cleaned our bones. Get all of it gone. And we're going to take three onions. And here's the thing. You're going to leave the peels on. Some people might be like, why do you leave the peels on? Well, one of the things that's cool about the peels is it will impart some color. If you're making like masa soup. And you're making a nice chicken broth or stock there try leaving on the skins of your onions next time and you'll get this extra golden color it's really cool so we're going to chop up some celery there and what we're going to have is a is a classic maraqua which is going to be carrot onion and celery we got our sachet in there and look at our beautiful bones they've got that just nice wonderful caramelized color from the sugars inside of the tomato paste this is flavor town guys we're doing it the classic french way in the best way. Can't wait till you guys try this and actually make a sauce out of the beef stock or a French onion, which I'm pretty certain I'm going to do a post for that pretty soon, a real classic French onion, which is to die for so good. Make sure that you guys pour that fat back in there. That's your marrow. That's what's inside the bones. That's the flavor. That's what we want. That is not something we would discard. So we're going to cover everything with water and we're going to bring it up to a really good boil and start getting everything happy and cover it. Covering its key. We're not reducing the sauce right now. We're cooking it for 48 hours. Bring all the flavor out. Go to 48. You can go longer if you wanted to. And you're going to have this deep, rich, flavored stock that, like I said, in culinary school, we called it liquid gold. So cheesecloth, strainer, 
large pot underneath. You guys might notice there's a large pot there. It's my, not my sink. Something that's going to be big enough to handle it. You guys have got the highest quality. If you guys can get veal bones, that would take it to the highest, highest quality stock you could ask for. Come join us on social media. We'd love to have you. Go ahead and subscribe and hit the like button if you enjoyed. Everything on the website, write-up instructions and measurements, and you guys have the best.